today, starting episode three, themed with somewhere in World War II, I think. Yeah, I don't get it either. There'll be things that breathe fire. There'll be guns that shoot electricity. Who could say more, except no one should be here. If you can all survive the bombing run, France is going to get fucked up. It's not going to be a fun time, but Caleb has no concern about that. He likes to he likes to be consistent with the violence, and the best way to commit violence is to do it in already violent areas where no one will notice because, you, you know, I think it's a lot like the uh, logic for people looting in a crisis where people aren't paying attention. So if there's like a war zone, there's probably some dude going around murdering people just because like, oh yeah, no one's gonna know. This would be like a war crime. I'm sure someone's thought of that. Hopefully I'm not that naive to think it couldn't happen. Anyway, yes. Brains! If I can have the brains, you can have the brains. It's a brain-on-brain -brain economy. I'm gonna have to start out by pitchforking because... Even though I have some of that... Wait, when did I get the spray? Hmm, you know, I'm b better off than I thought. I'll save the spray for the butchers, probably, again. You are so cool! Why, thank you! That's a nice compliment. The cultists have gained manners in the time that has passed. Not really. A lot of secrets in this level. I think this might be the one with the most secrets in this episode, and like maybe the one only one with a super secret. I don't get it either. But me, me think somewhere down the road, 3D realms are running out of gas, and Monolith did the rest. Certainly, they did episode six. I know that. <laughs> Bitch of a son must be given money. What's the opposite of paying? Giving. Like, giving in a... Donating. That's the opposite of paying. There we go. Ooh. Well, what do you know? I've got these twos running around. Only in their freaking long johns. I mean, unless they're just short shorts. Also, are these clay models? I'd swear that they are. I mean, it's not anyone's recognizable face. It doesn't seem correct to have these clay people on this platforming, and that was a mistake. Save before the jumps, in case the jumps fail. Here's this guy. He's gonna burn you to crisp. Bad dog. You do not get... This is not what I meant when I said I was gonna order hot dogs today. But there he is. Yeah, Phantasm's here, too. Nice. I know there's hands in this episode a lot, also. Hands! It's like if episode one was rats and episode two was spiders, episode three is gonna be a bunch of those freaking hands. Although there's no shortage of the other ones, too. I mean, rats can show up in anywhere they want. Really. I think that's the reason why we put too much blame on them. It's just that rats were ubiquitous before being blamed for lots of stuff. You just kind of like out in the street, being cool, being like urban wildlife. Like the pigeon. Does anyone hate pigeons? As much as rats? I guarantee you no. Stay out, please. Why I tell him of all the things I could have known. We go up and land in the water, because that's my way of doing some sort of shortcut that I'm not aware of. Yo, know, I should be watching some speedruns of this. That would look fun, actually. Especially if you're going for the 100%. Yeah. Aha! That turned out okay, I think. Nice. Early gargoyles. A gargoyle a day keeps my gargoyle doctor away. That's how I know there's no gargoyles. Because there's no gargoyle doctors to tell me about them. Haha. <laughs> the logic is only insane. 
in my mind. Get up. Put your hands up. I'm going to get you with my pitchfork. Okay, it's a bit late to complain about me if you're already dead. Just saying. Alrighty. Well, I mean, this isn't fucking Oz, so you should probably not be here. Actually, come to think of it, in this game there's plenty of references to, like, old, old movies. I'm talking like Madonna movies, and Oz being one of them, and some other well-known black and white ones. You know, if we're going for that whole gothic motif. Yeah, I guess, you know, without it being monochrome, it's pretty normal, right? I like these event things that only trigger when I'm about to get near them. It makes the level feel so alive and campaign-like, and... I swear this is the only time this episode I get reflective shots. I looked over the footage maybe one other time, but this is certainly the only time that's relevant. Here's a building explosion. That building, we will visit it soon. Doo -doo. I had to do a second take of this because I made the mistake of not checking my sound settings. <laughs> that does happen when I'm starting stuff. But you know, a lot of shit going down in the world. Always. May you live in interesting times, as I'm being told a lot. Although, truthfully, I think we just assume life has always been amazing before that. And... Every era has its problems. This one has a broken elevator as a problem. Elevator's busted. Man, I hate it when my elevator gets busted. At least when an escalator gets busted, it can only become stairs. Picked up a case of DNT. So, uh, somewhere up in the broken elevator is our way to the super secret. And as you know, my minimum requirement for a super secret is a life seed and a super armor. You don't have to worry about it, I already checked. Dumb. Da -da -dum. I know it feels like this is too easy, but I, I really am sure this is the intended difficulty for single player. Just as a reminder for people jumping on, like, episode 3. Which is natural. I mean, you're more than likely gonna watch the episode 1 stuff and be like, let me do this, and then check how the others start out just to see what to do so you can keep going. That's how I was. I know I'm following other people uh, who are playing the same games I have been playing. At least so I know where to go because apparently YouTube videos are more reliable than game FAQs. Who would have thunk it? Especially if you're doing some random ass mods. No one's going to write information on all those, are they? I didn't think so. Except that they do a wiki. But wikis don't tend to be walkthroughs unless it's strategywiki.org. And that... That place is okay. I don't remember if I have a bookmarked, but... Yeah. If we open this door... Oh yeah, so I was thinking of working on, um... Some Wii stuff, but... It's gonna be difficult to record Wii stuff, so maybe not yet. But I got the motion control shit down, so that's not a problem. Ah, double the flare for double the fun with double flare gum. And I can barely hear myself think. Although, you'll be able to hear me just fine. I'm sorry. It is acquired under the DMCA that I speak as overpoweringly dominant over the game itself. I know. But it ruins the actual experience of how it's supposed to sound like. Well, let me tell you what, mister. A lot of people like to do their source ports and their sound fonts. So there isn't really... There isn't really a one true way to play a game. Just fa just the facts, ma'am. Spewing facts left and right. Oh shit! Being, a, being demolished by facts! Murdered by facts! Clobbered! Slammed by the facts.
Da 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 da. Uh. All right, I'll say it. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Okay, I said it. <laughs> All right, we're in some kind of motel. Surely. You know, I heard a lot of uh, stories about soldiers who go to France who are just like, wow, it's really nice here. Cultural enrichment, ladies and gentlemen. Which America so lacks. Although, much of it has to do with our intended melting pot. And it's just like, well, people are people. Why should it be? I don't know, but you and I should get along. Perhaps. Perhaps if we can trade dynamites and blow up buildings together, we can be the bestest friends. All my friends bring the TNT and they're like, it's more explosive than yours and I'm like, it burns people alive like thermite. Okay. I mean, first of all, it's not the hand that says that, but still. Clear as hell, Evil Dead reference. In those hands, in those hands, when you got the Thompson, you gotta jump out the window. Alright, <laughs> he'd rather risk his life falling on the ground than getting shot. I respect that decision making in the face of sheer, of instant death. Hoy. Well, what could we possibly be missing now? Oh. I still need a dagger key. Finish things off. Oh! He's seen the latest scores. One more key, just for me. This is a good secret. This should have been the super secret. Alright, through the vent. We'll have a gun I have yet to use. It's the Tesla cannon. You're not going to much get mileage of it now, but... In the next level, I'll start using it, most likely. This is a reference to Seven... Seven is a movie about a serial killer that, you know, it's a knight templar that kills people based on who, who represents what sins. And Sloth uh, was, um, well, represented as a guy barely being kept alive. It's quite sad, actually, that whole thing. That whole movie. It's not a lot like... I wonder if it's the first of its kind of movie where there's, like, a procedural of serial killers... Like, I don't know if that was a thing in the 80s. Although it could have been. Surely people talk about serial killers, but I mean a movie based on one that was like a procedural and also a mystery or something? It's like the the modern, sh modern hard-boiled detective story. It's kind of like that. That's how Law & Order thought they were going to be, but then it's just like, I don't know. Do-do-do-do! And I pick you in the butt, hit you in the neck, no matter where I touch you, I'm a pain in your neck. Well, isn't that dear special? Cozy on up, hit the right kind of turn a bog, and see me next time in war torn France in the 1940s. It's been real. Kampa.